Hey guys, here's my uh, here's my do-it-yourself torch for propane. Um, I couldn't get it to uh, to melt iron. Here's my crucible. I accidentally melted a steel wire in there with my copper. I had some molten copper. It'll it'll get your copper molten, no doubt, and it'll you know melt gold or uh, aluminum or whatnot. Um, I've got compressed air on where oxygen would normally be. We're on propane here. That's gonna jump down to about five. Yeah, it's on five. I think we're leaking propane right now, so I'll go ahead and get started. And uh, let's see if we can see here. Good deal. And I'll, I'll show you how fast you can get steel molten, but it won't It won't really, uh, it's not going to, uh, it's not going to get it molten. It'll turn it red, it'll, look, it'll glow red. It's not gonna go molten though, okay. So here it is, not too bad. This is off one of those old uh, spigots for uh, kind of a standalone type deal. And you just get, I mean, just a little bit of air. All right, I'll blow it right out. Oh, gee. starting to glow red the back side Flames quite right. I haven't, met, I haven't played with it enough. Um, so it's glowing red right there, but I tell you, I don't, I don't think this is going as good as it was in my other attempt here. I think that's a hotter flame right there. That's a much hotter flame. kind of mess with your flame, but even messing with the flame, I've tried about everything, and it, I, it, it won't turn it molten, it won't turn it to liquid or anything, or even make it glow, or it's going to make you see spots, you know, where you need to shade or whatever, but not bad, there it goes, I mean, it, when I adjusted the flame there, it, it turned it molten, or not molten, I, I keep saying it, the glow in red, you know, so now you can hammer it, or whatever you like it. Just compressed air and oxygen and uh, torch. Do it yourself, torch bit there. 